Okay, uh, here I am. What we're looking at is a sunspot, and um, we're using a projection method with a pair of binoculars. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this, and I'm gonna describe where I see the sunspot. I see it at about two o'clock, about halfway out from the middle of the disc. And there's actually three, there's one bigger sunspot, and then it's followed by two smaller ones going a little bit further out from the center. And um, now the way this setup is, I have this pair of binoculars. I've actually got one solar filter on one eyepiece. The other one, I just took the solar filter off to get the projection. And we lined up the binoculars on the sun and focused them with the solar filters on. You need to do that with the solar filters on, obviously, because you're using your own eyes. Then we took one solar filter off in order to get us a projection of uh, using the binoculars to project it. Now, it projects down about two feet or so. And it gets a, a disc that's about two inches in diameter. Now you can see a little bit of cloud coming across the um, disc, but you can still see that sunspot. And um, we're doing this in preparation for the upcoming eclipse because there's quite likely to be sunspots on the sun at that point too. And um, so we want to learn about them before we actually go to the eclipse. So we'll understand more about what we're looking at when we're looking at this with the eclipse. Okay. Now you can see a little bit of wind. It's coming in and the whole setup is moving a little bit. Because uh, everything vibrates with the wind. So that's all for now. Thanks. Bye. Okay, now... I'm looking with my camera directly through the binoculars. To see Looks like it just went into the uh, clouds. But I wonder how that's going to come out. Yeah, no. Oh, there we go. It's coming back now. That might actually help it. It's not as overexposed. The camera might have a hard time getting the exposure on this. 